Today, we finally got an update on Welcome to Dairy, the highly anticipated IT miniseries coming to HBO Max in 2025, not 2024. In today's video, let's talk about everything we know so far on Welcome to Dairy, as well as this little teaser trailer that dropped recently. Time to float. So the first weird thing with Welcome to Dairy, because yes, there are many of those, is that the series is going to take place in the 1960s, once again in Dairy, Maine, of course, and it will lead up to the events in IT Chapter 1. It's an important thing to note, though, because the original book takes place in 1957, at least when the characters are kids. This was, of course, changed for the 2017 movie to be in the 1980s, because that's what was trending at the time. Why do you think IT from 2017 is one of the most successful horror films of all time? Well, it might be because a little show called Stranger Things came out a year before, took place in the 1980s and was all about kids on bikes fighting monsters. And IT Chapter 1 is all about kids on bikes fighting a monster. It even features one of the Stranger Things kids in its ensemble. BAM! Over $700 million. The upcoming IT series, written by Jason Fuchs and executive produced by Andy Muschietti, brings us back to the town of Derry, Maine, before the Losers Club was formed. Like King's Book and the horror movie franchise that followed, Welcome to Derry will take a look at a group of friends who are forced to take on their greatest fears when children begin to disappear at the hands of a murderous clown named Pennywise. According to Deadline, the series will portray the events leading up to 2017's IT Chapter 1. Like I was just saying, the show is going to be run by Andy and Barbara Muschietti, as well as Jason Fuchs. Now, the Muschietti's are, of course, a great choice to be heading this series. Andy, of course, directed IT Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, as well as Barbara producing. But Jason Fuchs is also a great choice, as he worked on movies like Wonder Woman and Ice Age Continental Drift, which I just think is really funny that that's like the first thing you read when you look at his Wikipedia page. Ah, yes, the writer of the fourth Ice Age movie. He's perfect for Pennywise. No, but seriously, Jason Fuchs is super talented, and that Ice Age movie I was just telling you about grossed over $800 million, dude. The guy knows what he's doing, I think. The current cast for Welcome to Dairy includes Jovan Adepo, the lead from 2018's Overlord, Chris Chalk, better known as Lucius Fox on Gotham, Taylor Page, the titular Zola in Zola, James Ramar, who played Ajax in The Warriors, Steven Ryder, who played Blake Tower on Daredevil, and Madeline Stowe from 12 monkeys who will be featured as a recurring guest at this time bill skarsgård is not confirmed to be coming back as the iconic clown and he even confirmed on jake's takes that he wasn't involved with the upcoming series let's roll that clip is there any way that they could ever get you to go back to that role and if not what advice would you have to the next guy to uh to put that makeup on we will we'll, we'll we'll see you know uh what they come up with and what they do with it uh I'm, as of now, not currently involved in it. And if someone else gets to do it, I, my advice would just be, um, um do it your own, make it your own, have fun with it. I get that Bill Skarsgård's like a huge movie star now, only having small roles in horror movies like Barbarian and bigger roles in much bigger movies like John Wick 4, but you couldn't have gotten the guy for like at least a couple of episodes to play Pennywise. I mean, we're talking about Pennywise the Clown here. This is a shape-shifting alien that can take on whatever form it wants to scare the fuck out of you. So like, it doesn't have to be Pennywise the entire time. It also lends itself to the idea that maybe Bill Skarsgård doesn't show up for every episode, which would makes sense with the universe you've already established. So yeah, it would have been expensive to get Bill Skarsgård for this, but not as bad as I think a lot of people make it out to be. Especially if Pennywise wasn't even in every episode, which I don't think is necessarily a requirement here. Hopefully this is news that is just yet to be confirmed. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We'll talk more about this later too. The original release date for Welcome to Dairy was ambiguously sometime in 2024, but now we have yet another ambiguous release date of 2025. This was due to filming being halted this past summer because of the sag after a strike. All right, so talking a little bit about this teaser as well, we didn't get much because like I was saying earlier, the whole thing isn't even shot yet. They still have six months of filming to go in 2024. More on that later. But from this little teaser trailer, we saw some staples from the IT franchise as well as some interesting teases at new monsters and forms that this demon space clown will most likely take on in the series. First and foremost, we have this shot of kids on bikes. I can only imagine what the studio executives were saying about this series and one of those things was probably Bring me the Stranger Things kids and put them on bikes in my series. <laughs> That's what I imagine a typical meeting with David Zasloff is probably like, but what do I know? Stranger Things, baby, nostalgia sells. We also get a creepy shot of this new character looking out into the woods, seeing what I can only assume is maybe like a dead relative, maybe a mother, a grandmother, something along those lines. Maybe it's Pennywise taking on the form of like the guy's dead wife or some kind of relative, whatever. That would be a really messed up form for Pennywise 
to take on. I could see that being a pretty cool sequence in this series. Emotionally ripping someone's throat out is one of the worst ways to get your throat ripped out. We also see some kid get yanked into a lake by some gross, nasty swamp hand. The lady from the previous scene might have just actually have been a lady, but this is without a doubt some shape that Pennywise has taken on. Unless there's really a swamp monster in Derry we don't know about. I mean, there is a space clown living in the sewers, man. You never know. And then right at the end, we got a red balloon teasing that Pennywise the clown will most likely be back, but probably played by a different actor, which, you know, ah, I don't know how I feel about that still. Just to speculate for a moment, I think there's still a shot at seeing Bill Skarsgård put the makeup on again for this series. Filming was halted this past summer due to the sag after strike, and will resume next year from January 22nd to June 28th. That's six months of filming right there. They still have a lot of work to do before the series is anywhere near being done. With the strike officially being over now, maybe they've negotiated something with Bill Skarsgård, got a new contract in the works, have him show up for a few episodes. You never know. This is wishful thinking, of course, and I'd be putting my own foot in my mouth if I said that Bill Skarsgård's the only one that can play Pennywise when Tim Curry exists. But I think it would be so jarring if the Pennywise performance in the series wasn't the same as what we got in the movies. Like, think about it. This is a prequel. If the Pennywise doesn't match up from the movies to the series, it's not going to work. If this was a continuation past the events of two, then you could give me a different interpretation of Pennywise, who's maybe reborn or like this is the son of Pennywise because he was technically killed in the previous entry. But this is a prequel. You got to keep things consistent. That's what sucks about doing prequels. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Bill is somehow involved with this, but it seems like from the teaser that new forms taken on by the shape-shifting alien will be a bigger focus in this series as well, which honestly has me excited. What do you think about Welcome to Dairy so far though? Leave me something about this show in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this brand new update video on Welcome to Dairy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror movie updates like this. Please consider supporting me on Patreon by clicking the link in the description below. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.